Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Draw Gaming here on the Gaming Evolved vanilla-ish server. Alright guys, I am heading into the snow biome over yonder. And we're gonna go look for a Daedon. Um, we have enough kibble to team up one Daedon right now. <laughs> so, oops, I'm moving here. Um... I was scratching my shoulder. Um, so anyways, uh, I have enough kibble to tamp up one day, Don. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can find one. And then we'll work on a second one as soon as we have the resources to do so. Uh, so I plan on just uh, just picking up day Dons and then we'll carry it back and put it in our taming pen. And we'll tame it in that kind of a manner. Uh, so let me go ahead and land here, get some stamps. Uh, so anyway, so thank you guys for the support in the previous videos. I really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Helps me out so much. Alright, amazing. We got stamina. We got stamina. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, so yeah, this should be probably a long process because <clears throat> just looking for anything high level just takes forever. Um, <laughs> I know. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Does it make sense? No. But anyways, alright, I'm gonna head around here. Uh, we'll look around for a little bit and see if we can find at least one together. Maybe. Uh, so they, they typically just tame up here in the snow biome. Um, not so much around the blue obelisk mountain, but more along these, uh, this other mountain here. Whichever mountain this is called. I don't know what it's called. I forget. Uh, so it should be... I usually see a lot of them over in the valley over here. Is that one over there? No. Just the calicos fighting some wolves. Oh wait, there's Daedons over there. Duh. Those are Daedons. Those aren't wolves. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can pick up one here. Alright, this is a level 12. We don't want that. The only thing about Daedons is it takes forever to kill them because they got this heal thing that they have going on. So it takes a lot to kill them. Um, let's just let's just hang out and see. 24, 114, and an 18. Eh, I'm looking for something a little bit higher. A little bit higher would be nice. So we're going to go ahead and head around here for a few more minutes. Um, and I guess I'll see if I can find one, and I'll be back once we do. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, guys, we're back. And I found a female level 156. I think we're going to go ahead and take her. Uh, I mean, she's not like a 180 or anything, but... Uh, she should be pretty good for what we need. Um, so, we got the first one. It took a little while. I found her earlier. I found her, like, way earlier. Kind of, like, right after I stopped recording. I flew all the way around the mountain. I'm pointing with my fingers, by the way. Making a circle, like, around the mountain. Um, but I flew all the way around the mountain to see if I could find another higher level one. But I couldn't find one. So, we're going to go ahead and do this one. Team up this one here. Uh, so, it's a 156 female. Um, so it should be pretty good for us. I'm going to go ahead and bring her back to the taming pen. Uh, where I have the two turrets set up. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and see if we can tame her up there. So it shouldn't take that long. Um, I'm just looking it up on the Dodo Dex app right now as I'm flying here. Uh, so yeah, it shouldn't take too long and it shouldn't take too much to knock her out. So alright guys, I'll see you back at base. I might have to stop for stamina. There is a Giga over here. <laughs> Just giving you all the information. <laughs> I'll see you at base. Alright guys, we are back. I'm making the approach to the base. I have to come in from the south because the way our base is set up, everything will destroy whatever we're carrying. So we have to be careful here. Oh uh, man. So we just gotta watch out for the plant species X turret, that's all. Alright, so if we just come in here real quick and drop her in, she should be okay. You in? You're in. Amazing. Alright, sweet. Alright, so if we just turn this on, I think I've already set it up to shoot a Daedons. Yep, I did. What? We can't hit it from there? Really? There you go. Get her. There we go. I might need to set up a couple more turrets over here. I thought these turrets would be able to cover the whole thing, but I guess not. Come on. Go to sleep. Go 
Gotcha. Oh no, no! Plant species X turrets, don't shoot it. Oh my gosh. I really hope those plant species X turrets aren't hitting it. <laughs> I'm gonna add to this. Come on, just go to sleep. This is taking a long time. I was not expecting this to take this long. Do it. Go to sleep. Really? Am I gonna have to like bowl at you in a certain spot? There it goes. All right, she's out. Amazing. Finally, that took long enough. All right, so female Daedon. Level 156. She got 6,600 health, 950 stamina. Food is what we're really gonna be paying attention to here. 6,250. And then weights 536 and melee damage 195. So let's go ahead and put. Uh, I should take 11 pieces of kibble. <clears throat> Alright, sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and tame her up, and I guess we'll be back once she gets all tamed up. I'll see you guys in just a bit. Alright, guys, we're back. She should be taming up here pretty quick. Almost. It's taken literally like five minutes. It hasn't been that long. <laughs> These things are really easy to tame up, apparently. I was looking up some uh, stats and stuff on them, so their their food drops really fast, so it's really easy to tame them up. Uh, so anyway, she should be eating here pretty soon. Come on. Do it. Eat your food. You go down by 150? It's weird. One day. Seriously? Eat your food. Do it. I want to punch you, but I can't. You're ugly. These things are the ugliest things ever. <laughs> there we go. Holy cow. Alright, we're going to just go ahead and leave you at this for now. We'll have to think of a name for her. Alright, sweet. So, there we go. We got a date on here. I looked at his butt. Let's go ahead and put a saddle on her. Amazing. Oh, you are slow. <laughs> Look at the tail stick up as she runs. That's hilarious. Let's get her out of this area here. You're not following me, are you? We'll follow. There you go. Hold on. Just get out of here. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and hop up on the RG here. Yoink. And we will drop you right back out of here. Amazing. Just put the RG right here for now. Alright, amazing. So, let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. Uh, so... She's got... I was looking at her food. It's going up. She must be eating berries. I don't know. She harvests meat, right? Yeah, she'll harvest meat. Alright, amazing. Let's come over here away from the feeding troughs and make sure she's not on the feeding troughs. No. No. Give me that back. That's mine. Stupid things. Wait, where'd it go? There it is. Really? Get off of me. Alright, so she does 93 damage. It's not terrible. Not great either. But it's not what we're using her for. We're going to be using her for... Well, we're not going to be using her. We're just going to be mating her up with uh, a male. And hopefully using that one to... Uh, heal up our dinos while we're inside of the boss arenas. And that's what we're going to be doing. So, your animation's funny. Alright, sweet. So... You don't harvest anything else. You eat meat like a boss. Oh my gosh, you go through so much food. Oh my gosh, we're not. This is gonna be. This is gonna be a big pain in the butt to keep these guys fed. Are you kidding me? Can I force feed you this? Oh my gosh, I just want to see how fast our food's gonna go down because this only goes up by ten. It should be more than that. This food, the food should be more than that. I guess it's different on these guys than I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird in my opinion. But hey, what can we do about it? Uh, so hopefully we can get her up to full food here. I just want to see what's going to happen with her food. If it's going to end up being an issue as far as like when she's not passive healing. How fast does her food go down? Okay, it's not bad. Alright, that's good. I was just worried about that. Uh, so when these things are on passive healing, 
uh, what they'll do is they'll just, you know, they heal up the dinos in the area, your tame dinos in the area, but they use a ton of food as they do it. So, uh, I already prepared for that, and I started getting some, um, some cooked meat going. I read uh, somewhere that the best way to do it is to have cooked meat. Just put a bunch of cooked meat in their inventory because it'll last longer and it gives more food. So that's what we're probably going to end up doing. But, you know, once we get them bred up with another one. 24. I'm not going to take you on on this guy because you are not impressive enough to do that. <laughs> their speed only goes up by 2%. I should stop pumping that immediately. <laughs> Wow, that was terrible. It's like 1.9% in speed every time. That's bad. All right, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and bring her back to the base, and then we have to hang out and wait for some more Iguanodon eggs so we can get some more Iguanodon kibble. Um, so it shouldn't take too long. It took about an hour and a half of waiting around this morning to do that. So uh, I'll be able to do some AFK stuff and get that going. And uh, I will probably just bring you back when we get ready to tame up the second day on server save much wow we are laggy nothing is moving weird all right so anyways i'm gonna do that i'll hang out and i will see you guys after a while i guess once we get some more kibble and i can get another day on so i'll see you guys in a bit all right guys we are back and it's been a long time since we last talked. It's been a full 24 hours, over 24 hours since we talked and got this other day done. Uh, I was kind of doing some stuff around the base, getting some stuff made up, waiting for the Guanadon Kibble to be made. And now we are here. I have made another trig turret and put it over here. Uh, so now... Are we going to shoot? Oh, Hi. So this should be, this other one should be, yeah, he's going to be shooting at him too. Uh, so, oh, no, 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 pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it. Dummy. Dummy, dummy, dummy. All right, there we go. This should be better now. <laughs> that was so bad. So now we got the third trank turret in here, which is able to hit him when he's over on this side. Uh, so that's amazing. So he should be knocked out here pretty soon. I got a whole bunch of Iguanodon eggs, and I got some kibble made up for it. Uh, so this is a level 156 I found. I like his coloring. Um, I, I just kind of flew around and picked up the first one I saw over 150. I didn't fly around too much. I figured that we had flown around too much looking for Daydons these past couple days. That <laughs> I'm just going to get this one. Uh, but anyways... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so I've made up a whole bunch of bullets and trank darts and everything um, because of the next step is to tame up a Uteranus. And uh, we're going to have to tame up some other stuff to get that Uteranus first. Uh, we need to tame up Kentrosaurus's and we need to tame up a Hesperornis. Uh, because the Uteranus kibble, or their favorite kibble, is the... Um, oh, I'm too hot because I still have my... Let's get the fur armor on. Uh, the... The uh, Uteranus preferred kibble is uh, Kindrosaurus kibble, but it takes ammoniite bile and also, um, what was I getting? Iguanodon kibble. Uh, where is it? H I J. There we go. Uh, what? I only have 10? What the crap? What happened to it all? Did I leave it somewhere? Uh, all structures, all dinos. I want a Don Kibble. To my personal inventory. None? Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's just grab a couple more of these. Um, but anyways. Um, so the kibble that's preferred by the Uteranus takes golden Hesperhornus eggs. You're not shooting that thing, are you? Oh, you're shooting something else over there. Alright, perfect. Uh, let's see here. I kind of forget what the recipe is, but I think I can figure it out. Some major berries. Uh, sure, let's pull those. And prime meat jerky. Two rare mushrooms, I think it is. Two. I'm going to turn it on. I think that's the recipe. I can't remember. Yep, it was. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, let's turn that off. Um, but anyway, so yeah, it's it's a it's a long recipe to make up the 
uh, Uteranus Kibble. Uh, so the next episode we'll be taming up the Kentros and also the uh, Hesperornises so that we can get that Kibble going. Let's go ahead and drop that on you. I think it's only going to take 11. You're going to... Broken things are broken. <laughs> I'm not sure what the deal is here. I could have swore I had 12 pieces of kibble made already, but I might have been mistaken. Turn this off. Uh, so, are you going to eat this? You have food in your inventory. You should totally be taming up right now. I don't know why you're not taming up right now. It is a guanodon kibble, right? Am I just, like, totally mistaken? It's been a full day, so I don't know what's going on. There it goes. Alright, there we go. Weird. It took forever for him to finally start eating. Uh, but anyways, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and tame this guy up, and then, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and breed him and the female together, and then we can get the, the baby going, that way we can have those babies for when we're inside the boss arenas, and they could be helping us heal up our dinos as we're fighting the bosses. So anyways, alright, I'm gonna do this, I'll get him tamed up, and I'll meet you guys back when we're getting ready to have a baby pig. Day done. Piggy pig. It's a little piglet. <laughs> alright, I'm done. Alright guys, we are back, and we got the two Daedons here, up on a hitching post, hitching it up. Ah, <laughs> uh, you get it? Uh, no. <laughs> Alright, so it should be any, well, 30 seconds, 40 seconds from now, and uh, we'll get the baby Daedon out of here. Look at your big old belly. Alright, anyway, so we should get a baby day done out of here. Um, I got some meat and some berries on me. I kind of don't know which ones they're going to be eating, to be honest with you. Um, let's pump your health. I don't know, we're just pumping health on everything right now. I got her health up to like 10,000 right now, so that's pretty amazing. Uh, so we should get this baby out of here. And, uh, you know, I'm going to leave them mating for a little bit not too long we're definitely not going to do it too long because that would be a terrible idea there we go baby did on oh we got the cool color out of her come here come here come over here i need you to come over here so you don't starve to death come on where are you going can you come over here can you fit i don't know what's happening there you are oh man i couldn't see you hi I still can't see you. You're like in the grass. Get out of the grass, silly kid. Are you coming? There we go. Alright, amazing. And it's the cool color that I like. That's awesome. Alright, have some meat. Maybe some berries. Nope, you want the meats. That's all you want. Alright, amazing. So, um, it came out at level 227. It's a male. 8,200 health, 800, uh, I'm, uh, that's Evo, <laughs> don't worry about that, uh, 12,000 food, 632 weight, and 346 melee damage, and 130% movement speed, so, not bad, not bad, not bad, alright, amazing, so, we got 7 minutes until, uh, she's ready to be, or he's ready to be, uh, cared for, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Rex out and we're going to get some more meat because we're going to need some. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this other one come out. So, hmm. Alright, yeah, I'm going to do that. And uh, I'll be right back. I'll see you guys in just a bit. Hopefully we don't have an issue with... I don't know. I shouldn't be too long. I got three minutes to come back. Maybe we'll just do this together. <laughs> oh, man. Get Rex Dodo. So still, I mean, the, the stats on this guy I'm not super impressed with yet. I mean, I wish I had some better melee damage. Um, you know, we'll be keeping an eye out for, uh, keeping an eye out for um, a bigger or uh, another high-level Rex, uh, one that has some pretty good melee damage. And uh, what we could do is we could do what's called stat breeding. And basically, when you do stat breeding, you um, you breed up your dinosaurs with the best stats, and you have to breed it up so many times, and you can eventually get uh, a dino with all of the best stats on it. It takes a lot, a lot of breeding to do and a long time to do. Uh, I really haven't had time to do that, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, so stat breeding, it's a good way of getting the dinos, the high-level dinos with the best stuff, but, I mean, it takes, it takes a lot to do that, so. It's just something I really don't have time for right now. 
Uh, let's see if we can go through the door here. Alright, we should be back in time. I don't think that baby came out yet. There's no way it did. I've just been parking the Rex right over here for now. What kind of levels action we got here? Here we go. Kind of, oh, one level? Okay. There you go. Enjoy. Alright, amazing. You what, five minutes? Yeah, you should be almost out here. Eh, uh, minute 30. Alright, sweet. Uh, give me just a second. Okay, we're back. 15 seconds to go. <laughs> Should get her out here. Hopefully, we'll see if we get a female. I don't know what we're going to get, but we'll see. One day. No, no poops. Give me a baby. Give me a baby pig. There we go. Sweet. 249. That's a better level than the other one, so that's good. Uh, come over here, buddy. And it's the same color. I love the color on that. Are you coming over here? What's your problem? You female? You're a female. Come here. Come here, girl. <laughs> Are you moving at all? There it goes. Finally. And we're there. Alright, amazing. Uh, let's check out your stats. Uh, 8200 health, 720 weight, 346 melee damage, so pretty good. Alright, amazing. Let's go ahead and drop this in here. You're not going to eat those. We're going to Pull some raw meat here. Uh, 200 maybe? Can I pull that much? Or you can't? No, you can't carry that much. Alright, amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and breed up probably a couple more of these pigs. Um, and then I'll go ahead and raise them up. And as soon as I get them all raised up and, uh, and all the imprinting done and all that fun stuff, I'll be back. Uh, you guys, I mean, just watching the whole imprinting and doing all that stuff... If you guys really want to see it, leave it in the comments below. I can show you guys every imprinting thing that they do. Um, but uh, other than that, it's it's honestly pretty pretty boring uh, to watch. So, I don't know. It's up to you guys. If you guys want to see it, just let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll just raise them up, imprint them, and then I'll, I'll just be back once they're all imprinted. So, anyways. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll get a couple more of these going, and I'll see you guys in just a bit. Alright guys, we are back and got the Daydons, all four of them, I got four of them. Uh, I named them all Guerrera Pig, which is War Pig, and number ones through four. Uh, so, I mean, they're fun, they're good, I mean, boom, just, you know, destroyed all that. So this is their passive healing thing, um, <clears throat> it's something that they automatically activate, and I'm not sure if there's an option to turn that off, I haven't figured it out yet. Um, I'll figure it out, or you can guys can comment down below and help me out there. Uh, but anyway, so uh, basically, if they get injured, they'll start putting out that uh, that circle there, and they they use more food and they they heal up nearby dinos. So uh, it's pretty cool, pretty awesome to have. Which is why we have these guys so that we can do the healing on them. Um, or you got to use it for healing up our rexes while we're in the boss arenas. Uh, so yeah. Anyways. Uh, Let's go ahead and make sure we get everybody off of a follow here. I press J. All right, sweet. So, um, pretty cool. I got uh, I got them all 100% imprinted except for one of them. I think Guerrera Pig Four uh, ended up only being 95%. The timers didn't work out on him, so he's only 95% imprinted. Uh, so that's that's not a terrible thing. But <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, but you know, still awesome. We got all, all of them imprinted, and it's fun. So, anyways, sweet. So, if you guys, I think that's going to be it for me today. It's been a long time of me recording this video. Um, but if you guys like the video, make sure you press that like button. It helps me out so much. Also, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe. You can see the rest of this series and some of the other series as well. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!